Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. It's interesting to me that those guys got support, but you're saying when you try to reach out to... Um, yeah, well, that's the weird part, right? So, be, like, people mm -hmm. in the gun world are kind of like, eh, we don't want to get involved. People in big tech, not only are they not getting involved to help, but they're like, yeah, we're actually going to try and fuck you over as mm -hmm. best we can mm -hmm. in every other way, quietly, behind the scenes, without mm -hmm. publicly saying or doing anything. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a pretty situation. How do you feel about that? Uh... I don't feel much anymore. Okay, <laughs> that answer, that's not that's not a good answer, man. <laughs> you know, because you're like, so this has all made you numb. Yes, that's what you're saying. Okay, so there was bitterness, and the bitterness has gotten so bad that you're numb. About. I'm not laughing at you, by the way. I, mean, uh, I would I, say bitterness. I'm just, just looking like, at that look see, on your face, and you I know you how people mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. The people that you think are going to be there to help mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. The people that claim that that is that what their organization does, mm -hmm. including uh, the EFF. Okay, there's some internet, uh, whatever. There's some other companies and other organizations I've reached out to. Many organizations that we don't we're, aren't aren't going to be readily uh, known by the average gun owner that I've reached out to that say that this is something they're into that and literally zero. Yeah. Hell. So if you so, guys if you guys don't know that let me see I had an article and how bad the censorship was from big tech and literally they don't no no one there will even like answer an email like hey by the way here's what happened nobody mm -hmm. yeah so like when when people say you know we're in this together or anything like that like that's the most utter horse I've ever heard in my life yeah I, it's it's uh, when it goes bad you're you're on your own yeah um you know. I would hope that even if the organizations don't uh, get behind this kind of stuff, that at least the people would try to get behind it and put things out there. That's been takes... kind of disappointing too, because yeah. we I, we have the Arms List Legal Defense Fund. People can mm -hmm. donate. Mm -hmm. You know, we run ads for it on Arms List. That mm -hmm. takes away from me being able to earn money, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm not selling the ad space. I'm saying, well, let's let people get involved. Mm -hmm. And it warms my heart, the people that do send money some of them send a, a note with it, you know, hey, this is all I can afford to send. I appreciate it. You know, mm -hmm. you're fighting the fight. Mm -hmm. But the percentage of people that are that versus the people that will send an email like, like, why the f is your website so, you know, it crashed yesterday or this mm -hmm. or that? It's a free website. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're doing our best. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and if you weren't spending clear, a ton of money fighting for, for the website the to exist, you might fighting. be able to yeah. tell from tone of your email that that wasn't you uh you know yeah. you're not the same person mm -hmm. but it's so this group of angry people that want more stuff for free and this group of people that are like wow i sympathize with this situation and i want to do something small on my part to help mm -hmm. uh if just from my perspective for what, that will be the demise of the second amendment and gun ownership in america well and i think you're right mm -hmm. and the anger you know just the bit the people, the fact that people are so selfish and bitter and so worried about what's going on in their life, mm -hmm. that is the majority of people. And mm -hmm. it's definitely the majority of people in the gun world. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry if that's not complimentary. That is 100% the experience. Yeah. Right. And I see a lot of that other people don't see. Yeah. No, I agree with you, man. I mean, we've had this conversation more than once, you know, and I've tried. Like, I know when these things happen, you hit me up and I try to put it out there and get it to, like, go. But me putting it out there on my own isn't going to make it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just yeah. don't have that much. Dude, uh, clout. That is an exact. That is the exact <laughs> thing I'm describing. There's a hand. You reach out to a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. You know, where I run the banner ad to show everybody that's used to the website can see it. Mm -hmm. And a handful of people are like, "Hey, let me see what I can do to help." Crump is helpful. Yeah. To what we can do, but the overall, you know, the response. It, it, you know why it's insane? I remember the kid. I don't remember what was the name of the guy. The drunk operator. What was the name of that guy that on, on IG? Oh, the Instagram. The Instagram. Uh, yeah, he got drunk and tried to get some Instagram followers by saying, "I'm getting red flagged." Yeah, exactly. The guy that was like, "Hey, they're coming to my house right now." He didn't have to ask, reach out, try to pull any strings to get every single freaking uh, dude in the Second Amendment community to share that nonsense. He didn't have to do it. So it's weird to me that your news, it's hitting, it's news out there. If you search arms list, 
it's out there. Click on the news tab. You're going to see they're in the news that they're fighting stuff all the way up to the Supreme Court. Why wouldn't why wouldn't people in the gun world jump on that and say, look, they're trying to take out this this uh, pro two a website? Because guess what happens when if they ever get successful at taking out arms list and the other websites like Facebook and YouTube um, are still exempt, but arms list isn't, then that means we'll never have our own stuff. OK, we won't, because any time that people in the gun world try to do it, they'll get hit with that, too, and then they'll disappear. And at the same time, Facebook and YouTube and all those places are going to either marginalize us or get rid of us altogether. So that's, you know, I'm not going to say that's the, the entirety of how we go down, but that's one of the major ways that we go down. That's a really have... accurate blueprint for what we're on the path toward right now. Yeah. So it's kind of crazy to me that someone even has to ask people in the gun world to share news relative to what's happening with you guys. Well, yeah, I mean, it kind of blows my mind, too, because I don't know if you remember when Trump first got in office, we had the White House in both houses of mm -hmm. the uh, Congress. Super majority. A lot of people were really excited. Maybe we would get national reciprocity or something. But one of them was Hearing mm -hmm. Protection Act. Mm -hmm. And people were sharing that, like, far and wide, Hearing Protection Act, global, global. And mm -hmm. I took issue with it right away because I see the nuance, the important distinctions in something like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, on on the just at the 30,000 foot view, mm -hmm. it would having a Hearing Protection Act pass be better than what we have now without mm -hmm. one. Yeah, obviously, you know, but if you read a little deeper, mm -hmm. who was who who wrote it? Right. Silencer companies. Mm hmm. Who was pushing it? Silencer companies. And then other people were helping push it on their behalf. Mm -hmm. And what did it specifically, did it say deregulate them so I can make my own at home? No. Mm -hmm. It said deregulate them so we can sell them more easily. Mm -hmm. But they have to be manufactured by us. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a terrible thing for us to push for. Mm -hmm. I can already manufacture a firearm in my house. Mm -hmm. No problem. Mm -hmm. Not a silencer. Yeah. I wish I had so, you on. I actually had the guys so from, the, terrible... from the American Suppressor Association on talking about Oh, no about way. That. Yeah, I did. So, yeah. yeah. So it wasn't going to be good mm -hmm. for all of us, mm -hmm. right? But people were still really excited about it. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, that, that kind of blows me away. It's like, listen, uh, arms list being stronger and being able to do stuff better is like the only thing that is going to be good for mm -hmm. you and gun, uh, gun culture on the Internet. Yeah. Well, like, it, it's... It's, it's not self-serving. Mm-hmm. It's just like if you, so a lot of people are saying, well, you know what they should do? They should pull those protections from Facebook and YouTube. And and we had this conversation also. Yeah, if that's, they, not, that's not going to end well. No, if they pull, if, the, if we drop those uh, protections, guess who's going to get, you know, that guy right there. Arms list is going to get smacked upside the head if that if those protections don't exist. I mean, they would get hit too. People yeah. are murdering people every day. Mm -hmm. that are uh, in using Facebook to stalk someone, you know, send in harassing DMs, whatever else. Mm -hmm. And they deal with similar lawsuits, too, mm -hmm. which is why it's all that much more ironic and hypocritical that they're like, yeah, we're going to take away your voice. We don't want you to be able to talk. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to be able to, you know, yeah. talk to your users and your audience in, in a, I think in a way. It's just not a sexy enough. Uh, it's just not. I don't know, man. It's just for yeah, some I reason think it, it won't I think catch it's, on. Well, you have to read like four lines deep before you under, mm -hmm. like. A couple paragraphs where you get what's actually happening, mm -hmm. right? I mm -hmm. think everyone likes to, oh, they were standing in front of their house with a gun mm -hmm. and there's an angry mob over here. Mm -hmm. People can figure that out real quick. It's like, oh, okay, well, here's this law of Congress pack, passed back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. Then there's a website. Then there's, we, every lawsuit starts the same way. It's some, yeah. some, you know, do you think there's, a, do you think there's, so I don't know. Um, this is just, I'm just spitballing here, right? So I'm just spitballing here. Do you think there's different approaches you could take that would maybe get people in the community and in the industry or whatever on board? Maybe there's, you know, different ways you could go about this. You can well, get I mean, like that's, a spokesperson. That's what, we're doing. that's what we're doing right now. Okay. This is my effort to, you know, do mm -hmm. something different than mm -hmm. what I than what I do on a normal day. You know, right. that's why I, I wanna yeah. continue But I'm just to saying, don't take this personally. Maybe if you got yeah. someone sexier than you, John, I'm not trying to, you know. Not trying to say you're not a sexy dude, but maybe if the, I'm just, you know, if there's something, maybe if you got dressed up in a, you know, in well, in I think the, the face of defending civil lawsuits is not mm -hmm. sexy in the first place. Yeah, 
mm-hmm. just isn't. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter who, who you can't you can't put a face on. It. I don't think people realize why it's important. System. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, and that too. It, yeah. it, it's it's hard to sell. Yeah. Because yeah. it's more important than a lot of the things people are told to care about. Yeah. The so conversation these- of. Like, and we have that. That conversation exists. If someone's looking at this and they're like, I don't know what these guys are talking about. There's a conversation where Jonathan lays all of this out that we had. I think it was that last episode 504, right? It was the last time you were on. I think so, yeah. It was yeah. right before you got Shadow Man to Hell. They didn't yeah. like that conversation either or the name of my website in yeah. the title. Well, so my reach here has gone down. My together. reach here has gone down and down and down. Like in the beginning, this is a separate channel from my regular channel. The other channel is Shadow Band also. But with this channel, it just goes down, down, down. Um, and a lot of the conversations we have here, to be honest with people, I get, I get it. It's not super sexy to have those kinds of conversations with people. And I try to mix it up. I, I feel like the gun community is a community like any other. We're into a lot of things. We like cars. We like this. We like that. We like guns. We like the Second Amendment. We talk about all those things. I don't. Some people say I'm fear mongering. And the thing is, I, don't, I want people to have an outlet. And I want them to laugh and have fun and still have these conversations. But for anyone to really sit there and dig into what's going on with, with arms list is really tough. Most of the time what I get from people is like, oh, well, I don't like arms list because, you know, something happened on there and I got, you know, jacked Some guy up. said a mean message and lowballed me on some item I had for sale. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> what? Do you, do you, where are you going to get this on Facebook? You're getting like they're catching up to all the nonsense you're doing on Facebook. If you're putting up something on Facebook and saying that you're selling the box for a gun, they already caught on to that. Yeah, they, they get it, they know what that is, right? So, you know, this is what you're gonna have, and you got to fight it. Whether it's, I mean, obviously, I think John may have selfish reasons because he started Arms List. There's, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. He's made that investment in that, you know, but if it's not John, who else is it going to be? And if they, if they take him out, then no one else is going to, they're going to be ready for whoever else comes in and they're going to hit every other thing like that upside the head. So well, I think also there's this weird element where they, they've mismanaged this really badly and they, they, mm-hmm. they realized it, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Because we've already talked about when mm-hmm. you're the public square, right? Mm-hmm. You're measured the same way the government is measured as to whether or not you are restricting constitutional rights. Mm-hmm. And there's no question that they are at this yeah. point. Yeah. Especially after COVID. Yeah. You are the public square. If yeah. you're a tech, major tech company, the people are using to communicate. Yeah. Period. Let me get so, to this. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'll let you, I'll let you finish. So long term, it would mm-hmm. actually be good if we forced Facebook to say, no, you have to let people advertise guns in marketplace. Mm-hmm. It's actually illegal for you to say they can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think they would rather squash any other websites that are like purpose built for it that people like using so that if and when that day comes they soak up all that market and we all just kind of forget how much they hated the second amendment Mm -hmm. for a decade and a half yeah let me um let me get to this because i see lola writing on the on, on the board here that we should recap like exactly what's going on and m gabriel says um uh this is exactly what i want to hear about so I think you know maybe we should get you to like give the give the short version to folks out there of what's happening with arms lists and who's attacking you guys. So you're in every danger, single what is that one bad? of these lawsuits starts the same way. Some bag does something bad. Mm-hmm. That's always the initial thing that happens. Mm-hmm. Then somehow, sometimes, like, oh, oh, uh, someone usually tangentially related like four five ten yeah. people something bad Either like one, what they get their hands some, on a gun and they do some, something some, bad someone gets shot mm-hmm. and then they'll trace back oh he got it from so-and-so got it from so-and-so got it. and then way back in the, in the someone used arms list mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so it's it's usually very far removed to be mm-hmm. perfectly honest and but something bad happened right so mm-hmm. it's ugly mm-hmm. so then the the brady organization gets that uh, the family of the deceased say, hey, uh, you know, we'll help you do this. And then they sue arms list and they name me personally. Mm-hmm. So that because they're classy like that, mm-hmm. uh, even though it's completely inappropriate when mm-hmm. you have a company that's properly set up to right. name people personally. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we go to court and then we get it dismissed and then they appeal it and then we get dismissed again. Yeah. But and that's that's an intimidation like over tactic and over and over. Again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
But that's an intimidation tactic, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah, no, no, it costs is, you more yeah. money. It costs you more time. And I'll be, I'm gonna be honest. It's not fun. Yeah, you're a human being, right? You've got a family. I've met I've met members of your family. You got a family and a life it's to not, live. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not fun to like. Oh, oh, well, there's another one. Great. Cool, yeah. Cool. Yeah. At some point. Oh, hey, let me call these guys. They'll help. Oh no, they won't. Call them again. Yeah. They not, they didn't answer again. Yeah. At, at some point. So like, I'm not here to complain about my problems, but I, mm -hmm. I just want the picture to be clear that I have reached out mm -hmm. many times to many organizations. They don't get back to me ever. Mm -hmm. It's not like I left a message on some box. That no one checked. Like I've talked to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. People. I believe you. I, and and if if no one believes the, it, I could verify that. Coaching. Yeah. And you know, they're just not interested. And I've tried both sides, right? Well, maybe the people that really care about the internet and companies not getting harassed because of this is considered third-party content. Mm -hmm. It's what someone else put. Mm -hmm. So like, if two dudes, due to their commenting in the comment section of one of YouTube videos, meet up together, you know, go to blows. Maybe it's gun. Maybe it's knife. Who cares? They hurt each other or kill each other. They say, listen, listen, that's third party content. You can't hold someone else accountable, mm -hmm. you know, namely the, the people that run the website mm -hmm. for what people did based on this. Nobody condones people breaking the law. You know, mm -hmm. we, we're just letting people communicate. Mm -hmm. And that is the same across all websites. And that's the crux of that law that's so important, the Communications Decency Act. Mm -hmm. And just to show you guys um, here, I found an article. If you search for this stuff, you'll find it. But... Um, I found this article. I don't know if John's aware of this or not. This is on Lexology, and the headline is "Grinder and Arms List Cases Reaffirm Core Protections for User-Generated Content." Uh, this is a blog, Media Law Monitor, right? It's written by Davis Wright Tremaine LLP. Um, so a lawyer, right? I don't remember if I read that one or not, but it sounds like maybe I did. But they're yeah. So they're basically saying just because people take a website or app in that, that case, I think, meant to do, you know, to let people communicate, to do something good, some lawful activity, and they do something bad with it, mm -hmm. doesn't mean that they, they did anything wrong. But I mean, think about it. Yeah. If we thought about this in any other way, it's so bass backwards, and it's so weird that, people, that these organizations don't want to get involved. When someone right. uses a subway as a getaway from, from a robbery, they would say, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, didn't you know people were going to use the subway to get away from robberies? Why would you build a subway when it's mm -hmm. so easy to just hop on one and get away from a robbery? Mm -hmm. Like, why would you build a highway when it's so easy to drive a car down with cocaine in the trunk mm -hmm. or a kidnapped human being? Yeah. Why would you have have water piped into people's houses when you know perfectly well that someone could drown someone else in the tub? Mm -hmm. we, yeah. In none of these cases do we blame the initial infrastructure that said, hey, mm -hmm. I'm here to help you do good. You know, you want to drink uh, out of your faucet. You want to take a shower. You want to have a toilet that flushes. Yeah. Well, yeah, running water is a really good thing. It makes it. it that's what makes it a first world country. Yeah, you just and, enable you know, a transaction. You, you're. I don't even do that. To... I enable people to communicate. Yeah, you enable people to communicate removed. so they can have a transaction. You're right, and in that transaction, they're responsible for the law, and what happens depending on where they are. Right, they're the ones responsible. Yeah, well, that's that. why we're better than the other websites that do the same thing because they are more restrictive. Than the government is. Yeah, that's like, like if, someone. If goes your through, government says you yeah. don't have to do a background check for an arm's length transaction of someone you know, why should I say people have to do it? Mm -hmm. Well, it's like someone saying, "Hey, I looked at Facebook. Uh, what is it? What's this Facebook for sale thing? Whatever that's Oh, called. marketplace. Facebook marketplace. I saw this thing that I want. When I went to the guy's house, the guy shot me and took the thing. Okay, now I'm suing Facebook. Yeah, that was a or, couch or a yeah, yeah or a car. Yeah, or if I did it on Craigslist, which a lot of us has do, have done, we've sold and bought things on Craigslist. Something happens. It's not on Craigslist. You're, well, you're responsible I, but for your security. Th that's the weird thing, though. They get sued in the exact same manner mm -hmm. and use the exact same law and, do, and and also get it, uh, you know, get these things kicked. But they don't want to help me either, mm -hmm. even though they're way bigger, they have way right. more money. Well, that's because you get, they have philosophical differences. Obviously, but you're saying the people on your side philosophically <laughs> on this issue, there is no difference. Yeah, I mean, any well, of if they take if they take you out the and people. eliminate that, they'll go after those guys too at some point. I mean, why not? I mean, the thing we have plaintiffs, attorneys, and plaintiffs law firms in this country that go after everyone mm -hmm. all the time for mm -hmm. everything, and that's mm -hmm. that is America. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, it's not like that in Europe and other places. You can't just sue people left and right and then 
you know, they, they have like a loser pays uh, rule in a lot yeah. of places. We don't have that in the U.S. Yeah. Armament and Access says, but I guess you can you can sue Remington for a shooting. No, you actually cannot. No, there's a law that stops that, too. <laughs> it's not that much different than the law yeah. uh, that, that protects Internet companies. I think it's actually a little stronger, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like they can get it dismissed faster or so and the it's reason so why we have it is there would be the, the 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 companies let's take it away from firearms the companies that manufacture things if they get sued because people did bad things with their things then we wouldn't have those things getting manufactured or they'd be ridiculously expensive well that's the same thing on, on this conversation we're having about pro 2a websites or platforms if if you you know if you allow yeah. this to happen you won't have that well well let me do a slight detour mm -hmm. uh because i see people in comment sections and stuff on the internet and occasionally people i actually hear it people say it in person that this whole section 230 communications decency act that it's been such a strong defense for you know google facebook twitter whoever when they've done some censorship they're like oh we need to take away the protection and it's like whoa 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 you you don't you, you're starting from a good place. You don't think you think censorship is bad and we should have some way to stop it. But you don't understand the implications of the thing you're actively uh, promoting. Mm -hmm. Taking away those protections would not be good. Let's say let's just say we took it away altogether. Mm -hmm. Let, let's the, hypothetically, theoretically. Tomorrow, there is no Communications Decency Act. Mm -hmm. Every website is getting sued every three seconds by all these play firms. The internet in America would cease to exist. Mm -hmm. The rest of the world could still have it because mm -hmm. they don't have the litigious uh, legal system the way we do. Mm -hmm. So the internet could continue to work other places. It would be done here. No one would let you do anything on the internet. Mm -hmm. no, they, people just, there would be no point. So I, I, it, I, it's important for people to understand that. We shouldn't take away the protection from anyone because in America, we ha it's very weird. Like, like Section 230, the Community Decency Act, is like this dam just holding back all this damage that would wreck our entire economy. Mm -hmm. oh, the internet for sure. The internet no, the, for sure. The internet, the, the internet economy would be gone. Mm -hmm. uh, but we it, we need to hold websites to a standard when they're misbehaving. Just like I said to you before, you know, if you would rewind in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. A black man would have a very hard time getting a hotel room, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, couldn't go to a lot of restaurants, that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and so that's why I get so far as people say, well, it's a private company. They can do what they want. Well, that's not how that works. That's not how that works at all. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, skin color is, I guess we call it a protected class, your ethnic, your ethnic background. Mm -hmm. um, but the Second Amendment is actually even stronger than that. It's not a protected class as defined later. It's an enumerated right, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. It's just as strong as, as the First Amendment, mm -hmm. you know, freedom to uh, so associate and mm -hmm. practice your religion. Mm -hmm. So if you said, "Oh wait, whoa, 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 we don't allow people, uh, we don't allow Sikhs mm -hmm. on Facebook. Just we we don't allow. It. We don't we don't agree with the Sikh, you know, belief system." Mm -hmm. Everyone would universally agree that it's completely inappropriate mm -hmm. and shouldn't be done, and you know. They would have to fix it immediately. Mm -hmm. But, but somehow, that's in effect what they're doing out, to gun guns. Switch out gun ownership, also an enumerated right. Mm -hmm. It's just one's a first amount, one's a second amount. And the second one is just a little scarier for sheeple mm -hmm. and idiots. Mm -hmm. So now, now, magically, the exact same infraction that is 100% constitutionally illegal, what they're doing, overlooked by everyone, mm -hmm. including our industry. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, it's shitty, but whatever. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.